Hi all, um, tonight's upload is entitled Hogwash. Uh, now, Hogwash will of course mean something to one or two of you in um, Year 11, whose, uh, whose class this afternoon I used the term in, but I thought I'd just do a bit of research and check my data um, on what I quoted you in class. Um, we were talking about I was just trying to dispel the myth of the fact that it matters where you are on planet Earth um, in terms of the, uh, the temperature at that location um, being relative to the overall distance to the sun. Um, now, to me, that seems like a preposterous idea that if you just travel a little bit around the curvature of the Earth, you would be that much actually appreciably closer to the sun. Hence the reason why I hogwashed the idea. But here's, here's the, here are the, actually the figures, I, and I did say, don't quote me on the figures, because I said that I'd probably have got them wrong, but it didn't really make any difference. The figures were, were astronomical anyway. So, listen, if the, um, so the diameter of the Earth, I was a little bit out, the diameter of the Earth is, um, um, is um, um, about 12, about 12, 13,000 kilometres. So if we take half of that, in other words, from the distance from the pole, down to the curvature of the Earth where you would be half closer by travelling from uh, this point in space to this point in space, about another 6,000 kilometres closer to the Sun. Over the actual distance of the Sun itself, uh, distance from, uh, to the, of, the, of the Sun um, from the Earth, um, and I was, I was quite a long way out actually there, um, the actual figure that we should be using as our point of reference is the best part of 150 million kilometers. So if we put that information into our trusty calculator, um, then what we come up with is we come up with a figure. Um, if we put in 6,000 kilometers um, and we divide that through by 150 uh, one, two, three, one, two, three million, um, and we multiply that by 100 to get a percentage, we get 0.004% of the distance from the Earth to the Sun um, is, is, the, is the incremental increase of just coming around that curve of the Earth. So, as I said at the beginning, hogwash. It don't make any difference. If you really want to know what makes a difference, then what you need to do is you need to um, you need to think about the the uh, the concentration of sunlight that's actually received at a point on the Earth where it's more spread out. For example, at the northern latitudes or the southern latitudes, what's called the higher latitudes, um, then it will be less concentrated, therefore cooler. And that's why we have polar regions at the top and the bottom, the north and the south of the globe. And where the sunlight is more concentrated, where it hits the Earth more directly at the equator, um, and of course at the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn, depending on the seasonal variation of the Earth's orbit, and that's what you've got. There you go. That's the end of that one.